Today we are going to be prepping one week's worth of food from this Cook One, Eat All Week book by Cassie Joy Garcia. This week we are going to do week 15 and the three main ingredients are ground beef, spaghetti squash, and spinach. This week's meals will be the bolognese casserole, a Mediterranean skillet, and spinach pesto squash bowls. So this makes enough food for three dinners for my house, plus enough leftovers for probably at least one more night worth of leftovers. So I'll probably get four meals out of all of this. And then in her cookbook, she gives you two more recipe options for the rest of the week. So the first thing we are gonna do is prep the spaghetti squash. We're gonna cut them in half and then bake them in the oven at 400 for about an hour until they're soft. So one of the things that they wanted us to do in this recipe was to make our own pesto, but because I already had this in my fridge, I'm gonna be using this instead of the homemade spinach pesto. And then fries had ground beef on sale, three pounds for $7 this week, so we're gonna be using the fries ground beef and we need to cook three and a half pounds of ground beef in on the frying pan right now. While my beef is cooking and my squash is in the oven, I need to start making on some meatballs. And we're gonna use a pound and a half of the ground beef, and we're gonna put this, actually some pesto into the meatballs, and then salt and pepper. And then they are gonna bake in the oven for 18 minutes. Okay, so I got about 18 meatballs out of that pound and a half of beef, and I'm gonna stick these in the oven for 18 minutes. I have found that it's easier for me to mince the garlic as the time comes, because I have a garlic press, than to chop it up and put it in the fridge. So I think I'm gonna do the um, bolognese sauce right now. Actually, I'm supposed to, and I'm supposed to use some garlic that I just minced right now. So I'm gonna mince that, but there should be two more cloves that they want me to mince, but I am not gonna mince them right now. Okay, so I'm gonna make the bolognese sauce right now, and it calls for olive oil, onion, garlic, a can of crushed tomatoes, basil, oregano, parsley, salt, black pepper, and beef broth and then the beef. So in my saute pan, I'm supposed to saute the garlic and the onion for four to five minutes, add the tomatoes, add in the broth, add the ground beef and the seasoning and then store in the fridge. But I think we're gonna have, oh my gosh, that is all the prep for today. It's just to finish making the sauce and then half the olives, but I'm gonna just leave the olives the way they are right now too until later this week. So we're gonna have the bolognese tonight. So I'm gonna um, take care of the meat and separate that and then start making the bolognese right now. So the meat I am supposed to um, set half of it for tonight's meal and then half for a meal down the road. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put together the bolognese. And we take two of these squashes, two halves, put them in here with some olive oil. And then we're gonna add salt and garlic powder and parsley. And then it says to bake for um, 20 minutes. It was assuming that everything was cold, so I probably don't need to put it in there for 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna pop it in really fast and let it um, cook together, melt, and then when it comes out, we just serve it with some Parmesan cheese. Okay, so this is out of the oven, and I just topped it with some shredded parm, and we are going to serve this for dinner tonight. They say that this serves five, and this is a four-quart pan. So it's about a pound and a half of meat 
and a can of tomatoes, and then a whole spaghetti squash. Okay, hello everyone. So today is Friday and we are going to make the Mediterranean skillet. Doesn't it look delicious? So for this, we need olive oil and we're gonna need our diced onions, some garlic, here's my garlic, um, artichoke hearts. I did not find any frozen artichoke hearts, so I got canned ones, I thought that would be fine. We need grape tomatoes, two lemons, ground beef, that we cooked yesterday, and then some seasoning. So we got salt, basil, and then we needed oregano, but I didn't have regular oregano, so I'm just gonna use this Italian seasoning. And then it gets um, garnished with feta. It says it only takes 10 minutes to prep and 12 minutes to cook, and it should yield five servings. So I am going to start it right now, and we're just gonna, in this pan, heat up some oil and cook the onions and the garlic and then once the onions are translucent we're going to add the artichoke hearts and tomatoes for about three to four minutes we're going to juice some lemons and set them aside we're going to add the tomatoes we're going to add spinach to the tomatoes and then we're going to add the beef too and then we're going to add the lemon juice seasonings and salt toss cook for a couple more minutes um, and then top with the olives and the feta and serve. So that sounds pretty easy. So we're going to get started right now. I'll take a quick time. It is 525 and we'll see when I'm done. 526. Okay, so in here I have the onions and then the garlic I just pressed in here. Like I said in yesterday's part of the video, it's just as easy for me to um, press this garlic as it is to cut it up yesterday and um, put it in a bag. Actually, I think it's easier to do it today than have that one extra step in that extra dirty dish. Um, I guess if you wanted to save time, you could just buy the stuff that's already even diced up and use that. So we're gonna let this cook here for a couple minutes till the onions are translucent. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna drain my artichoke hearts. So I did a Walmart grocery order yesterday, and look at the size of these grape tomatoes. Aren't they huge? I'm going to cut these into some smaller pieces, probably into quarters, and stick them in there. Did you know you can use this as like a colander? It's got the holes in it, and you can just rinse your tomatoes in this. Okay, so now my onions are ready. And I've chopped up my tomatoes. Okay, so I just added the spinach, and now I'm gonna let this cook down for a minute, and then we add the beef, and the seasonings, and the lemon juice, the lemon that I juice, the juice of the lemon. So we're just gonna give this a quick minute to stir. For his channel. What's your channel's name? So now we're going to add the lemon juice. I'm going to add some salt. And then I will add the oregano and the Italian seasoning. It's 542 and this is seriously done. I just need to plate it and add the cheese and olives and it is ready to go. Okay, so here is the final dish plated. It took less than 20 minutes. It was probably 18 from start to finish to get everything pulled out and plated. Um, 
looks delicious. I'm really excited to eat it and give it a try. I am going to be finishing up making the last dinner on here. We have spinach pesto spaghetti squash boats. And they look like this. It looks like my meatballs I made were much bigger than this. And what are we gonna do? We are gonna um, preheat the oven to 350, scrape the squash down, and uh, toss it with some pesto and put it all back together. Sounds easy enough, right? Yeah. Um, prep time, 10 minutes, cook time, 15. So this is ready to go into the oven. I just scraped down the zucchini and I added the pesto, put my meatballs on top, and I um, added some Parmesan cheese. And now we are gonna cook it in the oven till it is warm. The final presentation of this squash meatball thing. Uh, it didn't seem like I had enough pesto left, but that was honestly my fault because I just used what I had left over in the fridge and I didn't make more like they suggested. And then here is one still in the boat. And again, I left this in the oven a little bit longer because I was waiting for my husband to get home. So the meatballs might be a little bit brown, but it looks delicious.